Welcome to this episode of the Pullist Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at the top three comics I am looking forward to reading most on New Comic Book Day. And New Comic Book Day this week is going to be October 5th, 2022. Last week was one of the best weeks I think I've had uh, in a while with the pull list. If you go back and look at last week's pull list, pretty much every title was worth reading and I highly recommend picking up pretty much everything that was on my list last week. This week, you can check out my full pull list in the description of the video below. Let's take a look at my top three choices that I'm looking forward to this week. Starting off this week at number three is going to be Savage Avengers issue number six. I mentioned last week that Captain America was pretty much the only Marvel title I was reading. I take that back. I am reading Punisher. I am reading Daredevil. I am reading Captain America, Symbol of Truth. And I am also reading Savage Avengers. And if you haven't picked up this title, it is definitely worth picking up. The storyline so far has built a brand new Savage Avengers team from the last series that was about a year ago and we're on issue number six now and it is definitely not fun like the last series uh, of the Savage Avengers was. This series is definitely much more uh, serious. It takes a look at some of the character development between all these random mix of characters which they have uh, Elektra as Daredevil, they've got Anti-Venom, they've got uh, Incredible H which I think is Hulk mixed with Wolverine, some other things. Uh, they have Cloak and Dagger uh, and uh, all of them are teaming up with Deathlock. So definitely uh, a cool little read and I've stuck with it because it has been wet written very well so if you are not reading Savage Avengers I recommend picking it up at number two this week is going to be Junkyard Joe issue number one this is put out by Image Comics and by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank and if you are not familiar with the Jeff Johns and Gary Frank team up, or if you have never heard of Jeff Johns, then you probably are new to comic books because he has uh, been a very pro prolific writer of comics. Gary Frank is an amazing artist, and this team up that they've done uh, is amazing in over in the image universe where they started with geiger and i believe this is one of the first offshoot series at least that they have done i think there's been a couple one-off kind of things they've done but this is their first attempt at a new series based on something from that uh, geiger universe and junkyard joe sounds intriguing uh, it's kind of a throwback war comic it sounds like so we'll see what they come up with at number one this week is Gotham City Year One, issue number one. I'm looking forward to this for several reasons. I'm gonna start with saying it's written by Tom King. Uh, Tom King is a prolific writer in general, but his Batman run com combined with some of his other Batman titles, this most recent uh, One Bad Day Riddler story was amazing, and his Batman Catwoman was really good. Uh, Batman Killing Time was another little mini series he wrote. He does Batman well, in my opinion, and I like his take on it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of character development he comes up with with this you know prequel back history of Gotham City and the characters he's going to introduce it should be interesting from a writing perspective from an art perspective it looks real gritty has that kind of gritty feel to it which I think is kind of cool and almost like a, a Dark Knight uh, Frank Miller kind of artwork at least from what I've seen so far and lastly I'm a big fan of the TV show Gotham if you have never watched Gotham them. highly recommend going back and watching it they did some really good kind of year one type stories through that whole series as well and I really liked their take that they did in the in the TV series so overall looking forward to this title a lot hopefully uh, I have high expectations hopefully I don't get let down but uh, looking forward to it 
Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Pull List Examiner. I am not dropping anything off my pull list this week, so no extra segment this week. I will say that if you take a look in the description below, you will see my full pull list of everything I'm buying. You can always like and subscribe my videos, and remember to read them, bag them, and board them, and we'll see you next time on the Pull List Examiner. Thanks, have a good week.